We just got back from Austin, Texas, uh, a couple days there at Mega Camp 2018. There was like 10,000 people in one room uh, for one of real estate's largest conferences, and it was incredible. Mind blown, it, yeah, I sure. think would be an understatement. And uh, so we were there for a couple days and I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to just share a couple of our top takeaways. If you didn't have a chance to attend, if you did not, you should definitely get it on your radar for uh, summer 2019, amazing, amazing event. So one thing that Gary Keller said, he is the co-founder of Keller Williams. He made one line that hit so much home with me um, that I thought was so super powerful is make peace with, with boredom. boredom. Yeah. Yeah, that was huge. What are we in on it? Like, why? Why? I think we get so caught up in trying to invent things and be more pro productive and all these different avenues that we kind of chase down. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's the, the simple things that we just need to commit to that are really going to help our success grow. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's the daily activities, the same thing that started, got our success that uh, we forget sometimes for the new and shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? It's just getting back to the basics, really. It was everyday things. I know, back to the basics, that big results are built on the back of micro commitments day Definitely. in and day out. And we get so, when we do get bored, when we haven't made peace with boredom and we get bored with daily consistent activities of calls, uh, follow up, door knocking, whatever it is, is the activity in our industry anyways, it actually doesn't really matter any sales business to be honest. When we get bored with that, we start thinking like, oh, you know, shiny object over here, mm -hmm. I should play with this yeah. technology, I should try yeah. this new brand or this new company, I should do market, whatever it is, but really we need to be staying consistent with, with those. And that's with what the success is, right? Yeah. It can be boring a little bit, yeah. right? the consistent things, but that really mm -hmm. is what. Yeah, the, the fortune's in the follow-up. Yeah. Yeah. The fortune is in the follow-up. One of the lines that kind of tied in uh, with that whole theme that I heard was the line, do the one thing no one else will do. Right? Yes. I think in real estate, there's a lot of simple things that, you know, you just mentioned door knocking, cold calling, follow up, you know, it's, it's not sexy and no one really wants no, to do yeah, it. Exactly. And yeah. it's just that, that, but that's, that's where the, the fortune is, right? That's, yeah, that's no, where the definitely. There's comes. nothing glamorous about those activities, but those are the activities, consistent, um, consistency. But people think there is, people do think yeah. like, you, like, oh, I have like this like persona of what it's life as a realtor is like, mm -hmm. um, that it's just like all roses and mm -hmm. unicorns. <laughs> exactly. No, for sure. And I mean, being intentional every day with what your goals are for mm -hmm. that day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It was kind of cool how the same thing, see, the same theme resonated throughout the entire conference. That even with the keynote speaker, like this, this you know, that sort of theme that we just talked about was with Gary Keller yeah. um, when he was talking about market updates and yeah. things like that. And then he did like this bunny trail into into talking about like consistent follow up and lead generation. But then the next day, totally different topic, yeah. uh, different day, different session. The keynote speaker John Maxwell breaking it down to daily activities again and we're talking like one of the world's most it was um, amazing yeah acclaimed uh speakers on leadership motivation sales team i mean you name it yeah. it's john maxwell's like right up there and he said the, it was like he said the exact same thing yeah. just in a different way yeah. for sure no for sure i think sometimes too we can get so many layers of things that we're, our activities are built upon mm -hmm. and the day just gets so stifling and really at the end of the day we're really not accomplishing a lot of things mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i think ben kenny dropped the line it's like sometimes you have to rip down the house to build yeah. a bigger foundation bigger fa like, to go bigger you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. so sometimes it's like you know getting rid of all that junk and all the things that are really distracting us from our the, the activities that are income producing mm -hmm. and, and shedding the fat and then rebuilding in a way that's going to allow us to get bigger. Because we all have a foundation, but sometimes you need a bigger one. Yep. So you kind of tear down to start all over again. Yeah. Yeah. And really getting back to the basics. Yeah. Everything centered around um, getting back to basics, staying consistent and being like hyper intentional, Definitely. intentional yeah. about how you spend your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. 100%. It's awesome. Anything you want to add at all? I mean, a lot of people are talking about market shifts and what's happening yeah. there. And yeah. I mean, I think one thing that they also touched on was market shifts are opportunities mm -hmm. for, sure. for you know us to take market share. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they said that that thing with once market share has been surrendered yeah. or taken, it's never given back. It's rarely given yeah. back for sure. So that it, it, it's a huge opportunity, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and we're there. Yeah. I mean, in the greater Toronto area, we're there. I don't, you know, those of you that are watching this, I don't know what the market's like in, in your area, but um, we're in a really segmented market, yeah. a shifted market um, in many respects. What's felt like more of a dramatic shift that's actually balanced us out, <laughs> as ironic as that is, but it's very segmented. The condo market is different than the pre-construction market, which is different than the housing market, which is different in the city versus the suburbs, but it is still a shift nonetheless. It's definitely not 2015 to 2016 no. anymore, um, but it's an opportunity and, no, and an opportunity sure. to do exactly like you just said, get back to the basics, get that's really it. intentional with our time and be hyper committed uh, to those daily activities that are going to produce the results. For sure. One hundred percent. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. We just uh, wanted to share a couple of our takeaways, and we will talk to you soon.